here today with uh, uh, Bishop uh, Matthew Cantan from Liberia, who is the president of TMSI Liberia. Bishop, Bishop Cantan, it's good to have you today with us. Thank you, Bishop, for having me. Yes. Uh, we're excited about what's happening at TNCI Liberia. But before we talk about that, I, I want the people to know that you have another ministry, Imagel Worldwide Ministries International. And why don't you share a little bit about that ministry and how God inspired you to start that ministry? Yeah, thank you, Bishop. Uh, we, I am heading the ministry that we founded, uh, the Evangel World Outreach Ministries Incorporated. Uh, and uh, we are into preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ to meet the needs of the people spiritually and also in, a, in you know, educationally. Um, so we have a great school going. We've got 15 churches now. We are even planning to have our convention uh, March 30th to uh, the, the fourth Sunday of, of, of April in the southeast of Liberia. And, uh, and, and so basically that's what we are doing is to reach people with the gospel of Jesus Christ uh, you know, so that's that's what we are into. Praise God. So you, uh, what's the, uh, God inspired you to start the ministry. Uh, what brought you to start the ministry originally? The, the vision Bishop started uh, when I, you know, immediately after the Civil War, you could see desperation in the eyes of men and women who did not know God. You couldn't even believe that Liberians, you know, it was assumed that our country was a Christian country. But, you know, you, you, could, you could see men and women, you know, the, the modern and form in which they, they acted to each other during the Civil War. I was all through here, uh, out here uh, in Liberia. I saw exactly what went on, some of them right before my eyes. And I felt if men and women knew Jesus Christ, they wouldn't treat each other like that. People will have compassion. People will have love for one another. In fact, we would not have resorted to, you know, uh, you know, to arm struggle as such. And so I, I, I strongly felt the Lord lay on my heart to have a ministry to reach people uh, with the gospel of Jesus Christ, which is the gospel of love, the gospel of salvation, the gospel of reconciliation. Further to that was the, the need. There were young kids, you know, roaming the streets of Monrovia uh, without, without, some of them without parents, some of them had no support. Some of them were not in school, just in the streets. And so we started a great school uh, besides preaching the gospel to the parents. Praise God. Praise God. Uh, so how, what is Evangel doing nowadays to help the people in Liberia? Uh, please come again, Bishop. I was asked you what kind of ministry does Evangel have now in the area to minister to the people. The Evangel World Outreach Ministry now, uh, besides the planting of churches, we got up to 15 churches now. We got churches in Moserado, churches in Bonn County, and churches in Sino in the Southeast. We, are, we also have schools going. We, are, we, we have our, our, our headquarters school here uh, in Moravia, Gardnersville, that we started to meet the educational need of the young people, and by so doing, uh, to give them a Christ-centered educational foundation so that they can grow up knowing Jesus Christ and being good citizens as well. And, and so these are the basic uh, two things we are doing. The vision, though, encompasses that we have in the future a health center if God provides. We haven't, we haven't worked on that yet. We are working on the church. We are, are planting churches and having schools uh, at this point, the Evangel Christian Academy here in Monrovia. And we got one school also started on the Ralphie Highway with Pastor Gabby Bestman, you know, and, and, and so that's what we're doing. So we are into education and the spiritual aspect of meeting the needs of the Liberian people. I understand that uh, you have a school that you started and it needs some, uh, needs some work to finish it off, maybe a roof or something. Uh, could you share a little bit? Yes. Yes, Bishop. We 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 had a we we have a, a grade school from nursery to ninth grade, and uh, we were using the structure that is, I will use the word substandard. So we built, uh, we the plan really is to build a, a six six classroom building, but we built three classrooms now. We have reached roof level. Just remain to put doors to put the floor 
to plaster it and put it the uh what you call it to put a uh you know, to put a ceiling you know to put to put a roof on it so that's that's what we are yeah and and if we have done that the kids we are going to it we are moving to it we just pray believing god to provide so that we can have um it finished up put the doors put the floor and and, and put a roof on you know and, and and get it finished how much is that going to cost it will cost us about five thousand dollars, Bishop. Five thousand United States dollars. I will be in prayer that God will supply that resource for you. So we're excited about what's happening in uh, with uh, TMCI Liberia. Uh, it has grown, especially since you uh, have been president. And uh, why don't you tell us uh, what's the purpose of TMCI uh, Liberia? The Missionary Church International uh, Liberia is, is actually helping to unite the churches, helping to bring pastors together, sharpen their, um, their uh, you know, their, their understanding of scripture, provide some leadership tools as we have our workshop and seminar and conventions that you have attended, uh, Bishop Newman, and you know, others have come year after year, except with, uh, except this year, and so it's helping to unite the churches. It is uh, like, like the TMCI model said, the um, TMCI is a glue. It, it, it's the, it, Jesus Christ is the glue within TMCI that binds the churches together. We got, we got close to or more than a few churches. I mean, uh, 100 churches in Liberia. We got churches in Musarado County, churches in Basel, in Bonn County, and Riverside. And the pastors come together like we'll be doing, you know, uh, this week, you know, we're going to have our official opening of the convention of TMCR, but it's helping to unite pastors. It's helping to build up the capacity of pastors. And so that's what TMCR does for, for us in Liberia. Praise God. I understand that you're going to be ordaining, uh, or we'll have ordained uh, 13 uh, new people uh, at the conference you're having this week. Uh, what other uh, events that you uh, see and uh, happening this coming year in TMCI Liberia? And, and what's uh, what do you see going to happen in the future with TMCI Liberia? We we will be having, like I mentioned earlier, our convention uh, 2021. It begins, uh, you know, on 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 the eight on, on the 18. We we'll go for three days. Uh, TMCR Liberia Convention begins officially on the 18th and continue to at uh, the 20th. And uh, we will, we expect pastors to come from, from Buchanan, from Banga, uh, from Riverside and most of our county. We're going to converge at the Vice President Church. Uh, we're going to have an open service, followed by teaching sessions. And then we'll be ordaining 13 ministers, 13 pastors, you know, uh, for this year. We'll be ordained. Uh, as ministers of the gospel and becoming part of TMCR. That, that's what we'll be doing. And then following that, we hope to adopt an agenda for 2021 at the convention. There's a, there will be a business meeting and uh, we will confirm some of the things we're going to be doing. One of the things that we'll be putting on the agenda for discussion has to do with the expansion of TMCR. We are even also looking up to a place if it were possible to acquire a piece of land, build a structure that we can have TMCR office there, maybe have a conference room for TMCR so that uh, that conference room could be used, you know, for uh, by even other churches to come there and have some meeting, maybe prayer meeting, have conferences and something, you know, that's those are the things we're going to be discussing. We're also thinking of going to agriculture project. If we can, uh, you know, do a farm or something, an agriculture project, you know, so but but these are these are proposals that we will be proposing to the body when they come together. Praise God! It looks like you have a, a very aggressive uh, uh, agenda for the future of TMCI. You know, like uh, a lot of countries, I know that Liberia has gone through the pandemic and that. But I would ask you, what do you see the greatest need in Liberia today? Uh, thank you, Bishop, for that question. It's one of the challenging questions I, I consider it, but it's challenging because there are a lot of needs in Liberia, but the world, the greatest, I think, economic 
empowerment is the greater need that we have now. If people are economically empowered, parents will be able to pay the school fee for their kids. Parents will put food on the table. But the Liberian economy is so bad that even international people have noticed just that. Let me just kindly read to you a report uh, by IMF and the group called the Organization of Economic Cooperation Development and the IMF on Liberia. Quote, they said, for the latest, and, and they made this report in March of 2020, for the latest forecast on the economic impacts caused, uh, caused by the corona pandemic, by OECD, it says the outlook impact and IMF in March of 2020, it said Liberia's economy is still recovering from recession caused by the Ebola virus. And of course, Ebola took place since 2014 and uh, which left 5,000 people dead, trickled by a collapse of 90% of the economy and caused a revenue loss estimated at 12% GDP. It's a falling commodity uh, prices, falling commodity, falling commodity prices, and the gradual withdrawal of oil mill, which because it was a foreign troop in Liberia, they had some money circulating in the economy, but when the UN withdrew, that also added to the problem, even before the coming of the coronavirus in the process. It continued, Liberia remains a poor country with a high unemployment rate, it says, uh, precarious unemployment, and 84% of the population uh, of Liberia living on less than US $1.25 a day. So that's how, that's how, that's how, that's how, you know, terrible the economy of Liberia is. And, and how many persons can even, you know, afford it? So you can see it's 5% living on less than 125 a day. And this is the IMF report and the, OC, the OCED report on Liberia. So uh, when, when, when people are in power, it will positively, I mean, in power economically, it will, it will, it will positively, uh, you know, uh, affect churches, pastors, institutions, businesses will be on the rise and so forth, but they, it has been very difficult. Then exacerbated by this, by this uh, coronavirus. In fact, two days ago, we just heard Roman that Ebola, in addition to coronavirus, Ebola has surfaced in West Africa, in Guinea. It is even rumored that it has entered the north of Liberia, but that report is not confirmed yet. Uh, the county of Lofa, many people believe that uh, because Lofa is border to Guinea in the north. So, they believe that somebody may have attracted it already and it's in, it's in uh, the northern part of Liberia. Uh, so all of these are actually affecting the economy of our country and making life very, very challenging, difficult for parents, household uh, members in the country. So if people are economically in power, they will put food on the table. Uh, when, when coronavirus came, in addition to this, the government had what they call a compulsory leave. People were not going to work. Though they have changed that now, but the, the effect of that has happened. So many people are sitting home, you don't go to work. Uh, some churches were closed and all of that, you know, but now that we, we are gradually getting back, but the economy has already been affected and is the, the toll is being told on the livelihood of men and women in our country, including churches. Hmm. Uh, well, we, we will be definitely in prayer uh, for those needs. And I appreciate, again, for your leadership in TMC uh, Liberia. And uh, I know that you speak out in, uh, for the community also. And I praise that for your leadership there, too. And let me close in prayer for Liberia and for the ministries. And Father, we come to you today. And Father, we see the need in Liberia, the economic need and the spiritual need. The Father, we ask now in Jesus' name that you would stop this uh, Viola uh, uh, virus that is trying to invade the country, that we would rebuke that. Father, we ask now in Jesus' name that you remove the pandemic from them completely. Now, Father, you would restore the economy so that people can take and put food on the table for their families. And that, Father, that they can... Uh, have a life that's more abundantly. Father, you have promised your people that they would have life and life more abundantly. So, Father, we ask by your spirit that you would go across Liberia and set the captives free. Father, I thank you for 
Tiamzai in Liberia and and for Bishop Kante for what they're doing to unite the churches. And Father, for Evil Young uh, Worldwide Ministries, where they reach out and help educate the children and, and uh, take care of the needs in the immediate area. So, Father, we thank you once again for what you're doing through Bishop Kante and TMSI in Liberia, in Liberia. And so, Father, we release them to you. Thank you again for their leadership and for what you're doing, going to do through them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, amen. God bless you, and we we'll look forward to uh, hearing the good report on your uh, upcoming conference. You have a blessed day. Thank you, Bishop. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Bye-bye now. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching TMCI TV. If you found any benefit in this episode, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and ring the notification bell so you can stay up to date with our future videos. If you are interested in planning a church, starting a ministry, or looking for 501c3 tax exemption status for your existing church or ministry, TMCI can help. Click the link in the description below for more information. We look forward to hearing from you soon. God bless.